Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. JK here and we are back with another video. This one will be a new series. We will be playing Farthest Frontier uh, point 9.5p1. So this is the new patch. And this will be my very first playthrough with this patch. I have played a couple of uh, runs here and there, although I only get to the very early game. Uh, I've I probably did around two to three settlements already, and I and each of those settlements is probably like an hour or an hour and a half maximum of two hours. So I'm not really um, experienced in this game. So this will be one of my very first playthroughs. So yeah, let's start. Um, so to start, let's go for a new settlement. I'm thinking of going for a trailblazer run, although. I want to check the advanced settings. I would like to have resources at the Pioneer one. And then Raiders at Pioneer. I think just that. And then... I can go for planes. Um, although I'm not sure uh, what's the difference. I think it's just uh, about the resources. So the Id Id idyllic valley, valley is good for starters, I guess. So I'm thinking if the planes is a better um, will be a better video than the idyllic valley, but I guess let's we'll just go for the idyllic valley and then let's name our city or our settlement. Um, what do we want to call our settlement? Maybe we can go for something like um. Kalayaan again, right? Kalayaan means freedom. So I think we'll go for Kalayaan. And then we'll go for a medium map size. Since this will be one of my very first playthroughs. And I think just that. And then let's go. Okay, so here we are. In Farthest Frontier, we will now place our town center. So as I as far as I remember in placing farm centers I'm we have to look at the thing on the upper right side of the uh screen which is the fertility bonus and the water bonus and the resources that are near our settlement also I believe you have to take a look at the fertility so yeah you, you can do that by pressing F in your keyboard that's good there are a lot of fertile lands here this is good fertility so I think this is a good place that we can start. I am not sure what this is. It's like a some sort of a ruin. So if we play we place it somewhere here, we have three three resources near us, the foraging resources one. We also have minerals in range. Although I'm not sure if this is very important at the start since we have we will probably rely on our foraging in the first couple of years for water we have decent water coverage here um do we have anything near a body of water something like a lake or a river so that's that one's good we have some plot of lands here that are fertile although i'm not seeing a lot of resources that we can forage so i don't think this is a good place to start this one we have uh, there are no minerals in range. Guess. Let's go back to here. I, I guess we can start here, right? There are one, two, and three parts here that are... No, no, no. Let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go back. Um, I'm thinking maybe somewhere over here, right? What I'm thinking here is that there are a bunch of trees on the left side that we can cut down. We have fertile land on the right side where we can farm. And then there are still a number of foraging resources that are near. Although I'm not seeing any clay. I think this is clay, right? So I think this one is still accessible if we stay, if we start somewhere here. Right, so I think that's accessible. Um, water, let's see. Where is our water? We have 
some decent we have decent water overall although i don't think our wells will have anything over 70 percent um what else what's that other one that i can take a look i think the other one is just about happiness so i don't think that's uh, important at the start so i'm guessing we can start you not know let's start right here okay i believe we can't move our town center when we placed it so we will start here uh so let's put the game on post on pause and then i want to create a roads uh road encircling our settlement here okay i will will uh play it since so they can start building this um we need to harvest resources so i'm thinking just get trees here okay so start getting those trees we also have some stone here so that's good that will help us uh the start this one is an excavation site so this is the first one i encountered an excavation site the ruins are left behind by forgotten people once temple is constructed. So it can be excavated to discover relics and wealth from the past. So I think this is good. Although I don't think it will be helpful uh, at the beginning since we might not need uh, those relics at the start. So at the beginning, let's do some roads. So as I've mentioned, I want my farm over at the top. So if farms are up there, I'm maybe we can do or sorry i had to cut that one i had to sneeze um but since our farms will be up there i'm thinking some homes will be in the middle of this so our industry might just go down like this All right so i don't want roads i don't want to build long roads but i do want to have some structure so i know where i'm going in the future then same as on top and here as well now i think we can deviate from the grid like that going down right i don't think that hurts us now the basic things that i would like to start with is first one is housing but we can't do that unless we have or the town center is built so they are slowly building that what i want is a hunter's cabin so i'm seeing deer here right so i think if you click f4 we can see there are four deers there and there are a bunch of things that we can forage down here and up top so i think we'll start building a hunter's cabin over oops sorry how do i i keep forgetting how i how to click or how to rotate buildings here so i think it's tab right it's tab so i want a hunter's cabin right there and i want a foraging hut foraging forager shack um beside it so, oh no maybe we can go higher like this Let's just extend the road like that okay and then last thing i think that i want to do we, do we don't have any water near so i don't think we will need um what do you call this i don't think we will need um the fishing shop anytime soon but what i do want is to start establishing our crop field so i'm thinking of this is very low fertility i'm not sure why maybe because of the other tiles i cancel that can we have something that has higher fertility like this that's an 80 i don't think I, i'm not sure if that's too big um but this will be something of a small farm that we uh that we will establish there uh let's clear you know what i want to clear the road since i don't think it's situated correctly so let's clear that and then let's start from here up to that okay 
so that's good we have we can start with our farms and our um farm there now what i also want to have are houses we want homes now i want a home near the farm since i want my workers who are working on the farm to live near the farm something like that and then i can also have people living down here so maybe let's have one two three four i think that's enough for now and then what else do we i want to build um i guess i also need the well we definitely need some wells um i'd like to have it centralized but this yields the best so I'm thinking of having one, is having it down here, is having it down here better, 67, 68 here, so I think that, and then let's have another one near our industry, 74 here, so that's better, and I think those two wells are good for now, right, so let's put the game speed at 2. And let's take a look at what else we can build. So, wait. Um, what's this? This is the forager shack. So, we want to forage. Um, I'm thinking this area. Right? Although there are very few berries there and greens. We could probably start there and then go down here since this is there are a lot of um, things to gather here. What's this? Salvage site. The remains of a settlement that failed to thrive in the frontier. It can be salvaged for valuable resources. We'll probably do that. As well as this one. I'm not sure what this can provide. But we can start salvaging that. Um, yeah, so what else do we need? Um, first, we can also take a look at the total population that we have. So we have 12. We only have a couple of builders here and there, but we have a ton of laborers. We have one forager. Um, what's the status on the hunter cabin? The hunter cabin is slowly getting built. So that's good. Once we have some hunters, they can start hunting those deers. So we definitely need that to start um, stocking our food. Also this one, can we move this one to maybe closer to our industry okay housing shortage we're already working on our housing we have five houses here that we are working on so that will not be an issue i also forgot to add a firewood splitter so a firewood splitter is someone that can start giving us um what do you call this that they can already start giving us or producing firewood for the winter so we also need that building to be built um what else for defenses that's not part of our priority for now i guess just that that's the that's the main thing that we need to start working on um uh, maybe you can also start um smoking our meat this way we can help preserve the food so i guess we also need this one maybe we can put it there then let's just put a road straight across something like that yeah i think that's good uh we don't have firewood here since this is just being built so I, i'd like to prioritize building this one since that will ensure that what's this hunter seven okay no firewood again as i've mentioned uh, i will be prioritizing building this so once that is built that will ensure that you now let's cancel the construction for this one so they can prioritize building our smoke ah uh, smokehouse sorry our firewood i want that to be prioritized since time is moving and we can't just um keep on uh living without firewood since we need that we need heat for our winter also i i'd like to move this one here because there are greens and berries here patches of herbs here that i'd like to harvest 
So we'll go for that. Um, so yeah, I guess this is a pretty good and a standard start. Uh, I've only watched a couple of videos of uh, Farthest Frontier um, just recently since I only started playing this about a week ago. And so far, I'm liking the playthroughs that I've watched, although most of them are very speedy. You know, uh, sometimes I can't follow. But that's all good. We can learn through playing the game. And that's what I like when playing these types of survival games. City building survival games. So for now, let's just put the speed to 3 so everything can be built faster. Hopefully, we can finish building the firewood splitter as fast as we can. Um, let's put this... Um, I'm putting the other construction on pause just to make sure that this gets prioritized and built first. Okay, so the workers, they are slowly getting resources here. So they're bringing wood here. Um, we are... Just waiting for a couple of wood. I think this guy is bringing more. Pay two more. Okay, so we just need to work on this. So when this icon appears, I, I, I believe this means that all the materials are here. People just need to start working on this one. So yeah. Um, I'm putting two people on the firewood splitting since we need to... We need to start... Uh, what do you call this? We need to start... Building up our firewood. So there is an impeding heat wave. Uh, I'm not sure what we can do uh, with this. Ensure you have your time to have adequate water. So I believe we have enough. We have a well here. So I think this should be prioritized. I mean, I'm enabling uh, construction here, but I want this to be prioritized as well as the other well. So this one, we are slowly building that one up. That's good. Okay. So far, I think so good. We have food for 19 months, so that's more than enough. Uh huh. Now, um, I think our goal for this episode is to reach the next tier of this town center. In order to reach that, we need 8 shelters built, we need a market, and we need a population of 30. And we are we will get there. Maybe this episode, maybe not. But we will definitely get there. Um, our priority for now is to survive the first year. And surviving the first year is essential so that we will have more time to achieve those goals in order to uh upgrade our town center for now we uh what's this we need more people we need logs so we are not producing enough logs so um we have three skewed for chopping it's just that there are a lot of construction going on and construction sites consume a lot of logs um but our priority is definitely to slowly but surely build build our homes so that's one so that our people have a place to live um when winter comes but also to build our firewood stock as well so hopefully we'll get it done it's already summer and then it will be fall in a couple of uh, minutes and then it's winter so we have ample time to build up our resources for food, we have 24. I don't think we need hunting at the moment. Uh, for foraging, we only have one. I removed the hunter just because um, we don't want to deplete the deers immediately. Because we're, we have 24 months of food and we have 4 months that are about to spoil. So we don't need uh, that much. We have almost 2 years of food uh, stored. So once this goes down to around 11 or 10, I'm going to put another, uh, a hunter again here. And just to preserve the deer, since if this is fully hunted, um, if this is fully hunted, we'll have to take a look at other sites to hunt. 
So I guess for now we'll just leave it at that. Um, we only have uh, one more house that we are waiting to be built. We already have house for homes for 16 people. So this icon here shows that we have 12 people and we have the capacity for 16. That means we have an extra home. Uh, what I do want is to have extra homes so that when people want to join the city or our town, uh, we will have enough homes for them to live in. Um, the thing that I that we want is that when people join, we have more people to do things for us so more people can cut trees, forage, and stuff like that. And that will also help us reach our goal of 30 population. Okay, so I will not start building homes for now. Although I will start planning ahead. Um, I'm thinking connecting this road. I don't want it to curve. Maybe we can create a road ahead like that. Then another road across. And then I will put a little bit more housing. So I'm thinking putting housing here, although let's disable construction. So just that we can continue building our firewood here. Uh, yeah, so we have a well here, so I don't think we can continue building here. Um, we can go down, right? And then we can connect this to this yeah something like that then we can start building homes here and in the future i'm thinking of putting a market down this side so putting a market in a central location that's near within your residential area or your homes it gives your people happiness so that is something that we want to have since um having happy people will be will enable us to have better production i guess so we have three more new uh, immig immigrants. We have, as you can see here, we have room for 20 people. But we now have 16 people. So that's good. We have a baby. And then we have three people bo uh, Three people join us. So that is good because we now have more people to help us, you know, get this food and expand. In the future, we also want to have a sort of a military, although I'm not seeing any um, raiders camp near us, so that's a good sign. There are a lot of things to forage here. There are some deer here. Good thing there are not any, what do you call those animals, uh, wild animals that would fight you, so that's a good sign for us. Um, yeah, so I like that we have a, a lot of trees here and a lot of plants that we can harvest. So far, we're doing great. We're doing pretty decent. We have 18 months of food. Foiling in the future. Uh, I'm also thinking of starting to build our storage. So our storage area is a place where our resources will be delivered. And I think that putting it in a more central area like this will help our workers not travel far in storing our resources. Now I'm thinking, is it worth it to remove these greens? So those greens are fully, um, fully harvested. So let's go down. Let's go down here. Now what I'm thinking is building a storage here. We already have 101 firewood, so I think that's enough for us to survive our first year. So I'm thinking of putting it something central. I, I, as I've mentioned, we want our stockyard to be in the center so that our gatherers can put the resources in the center. Okay, I don't need a graveyard yet. Uh, we don't have gold yet for the shrine, so we'll, we can't do that for now. Storage, food, there is a, I believe there is a body of water over on this side, but that is not part of our priorities for now. Decorations will do that in the future, that uh, adds 
desirability to the homes so that's a that will be a, a project in the future we also start building those homes then i am looking at the market so the market will be um the market will be uh, available for us to build once we have a saw pit in the research uh re where's that uh, resources production so this one um we can unlock this one once the storage is built so i'm guessing we can prioritize building that one first so that okay so so that when the next year comes we will have food now the thing that also that i also want to start working on is our farm because um farms take time to build and when i say it takes time it needs um a lot of years probably to get this ready for you know cultivating planting and harvesting so i want this uh want this to be ready at the start of the second year or our second year but since it's already winter the construction is halted so we can't continue building that um so hopefully in the start of the second year we can harvest a bunch of items there <sighs> okay so now we have our stockyard we can already start building our saw pit so saw pits are let's let's read okay saw pits are a work yard where sawyers cut logs into wood planks okay so we can already start producing wood planks when this is built now i want this to be built i don't think this needs to be built near trees but maybe we can put it again maybe somewhere there since we want it near our stockyard uh, and it's quite far from our home so i think that's good i also want this to be fully built so once that's built we can already build a market for our homes we have three more villagers and another baby born so i'm guessing we need to prioritize building these homes as well so that in the future when more people want to join us we have enough uh, we will have enough homes for those people right so this one's built we now have extra home for four people so that's good um yeah so what does this one mean building us room for more workers so as i've mentioned i didn't want to start hunting we still have enough wood but i'm guessing i can put one hunter there I've also, we can also start constructing our smokehouse as well. So, our prior, top priorities is building the smokehouse and building the other uh, facility. Okay, so now we have seven villagers arriving. We don't have enough homes for them. But this will be a huge boost for our population. I think that we can already house them. This will just need a, a little work. So I guess we can start accepting these people. And just put a priority on building our homes here. Uh, I'm also We'll also plan on building more homes. So putting one here. And then probably one more here but let's pause the construction on these two so they can just prioritize building this since we have three people that do not have homes hopefully we can start we can finish that uh, i'm pausing the construction of the smokehouse for now so that we can focus our manpower on building homes these only need two more logs so i'm guessing that that would be finished at the start of the second year i'm just curious if those people without homes would die since they don't have enough eating for their bodies hopefully not hopefully they can survive these people are already working on this so let's see those these are slowly getting built 
That's good. Hopefully our three people survive. Alright. Okay, so that's good. Um, They will survive. We have enough room for 32 people. We'll enable construction again. And put priority on our smokehouse. We only have food for 8 months. So that is not that great. The number went down since we added more people. But yeah, I think that's part of it. Um, let's see. We have more deer here. So the good thing for our hunter is that we have deer there. And then for our forager, there are more greens and herbs here that they can gather. So that's good. Okay. We also now have our farm. So let's let's take a look at our farm. Okay. So we want... So taking a look at this, we have here yields, heat tolerance, grow time, and impact fertility. So I'm looking at the fertility. Um, but first, I want to have farmers maintain the land. So maybe we can uh, do this first. And then, since we have ample or uh, high amounts of fertility, I'm guessing we can put something like that here. Then I can't put this. I don't think we can put anything uh, on our first year. Just the cabbages. Then on our second year, I want... I want a... I want... A, we can probably put... E-tolerance is not good for this. Since this is spring, I guess we can go for peas. Oh no, I'm sorry. I, this, should be, this should go here. So peas. And then we can go for carrots. That will decrease the that will decrease the fertility, and then we can have beans again. No, I, that doesn't fit. So maybe we can add that, and then we'll add clover. So this will increase the fertility, and then we can do cabbages again, or maybe not. Maybe we can remove this one. How do I remove it? Um, you know what? Let's just let's just leave it at that. We'll have cabbages on year one. So this year we'll have cabbages and then peas, carrots, then cabbages again. I guess that's good, right? That still uh, that still gives us a bit of variety when it comes to our food. Okay. Now what else? I think we have unlocked the market. Oh, not yet. Um, we do have our storage, right? Am I wrong? We do have our storage now, right? So, oh, we need a storehouse. Okay, sorry. Uh, we need a storehouse. So let's read first. No, what is a storehouse? So a storehouse is a large structure that is used to store a lot of items. So we can put the storehouse as maybe here. So my thinking is that we will put a market here. So it's still near the market. It doesn't have any impacts on desirability. And then I also want a root cellar. Uh, maybe somewhere over here near uh, the food production. So a food cellar is a, is a building that uh, allows food to be stored a lot longer so the shelf life of our food will be longer once we have the roof the root cellar so i i like putting that one just to you know extend the food shelf life and decrease the the food or the amounts of food that will be spoiled so that's something that i am always looking at so at the moment we have already built the shelter required for the upgrade we've also increased the population to exactly 30 what i only need is the market so once the storehouse is built we now have unlocked the market so the market is as i've mentioned it is a place where people or desirability is increased and people get their needs from so what i'm thinking is putting a road down there something like this that way the market will be central 
and then we will start building homes around the market so this yellow circle around the market is the area that it affects desirability okay so all good on that once the market is built we can already start uh we can now start expanding our what do you call this our city center or town center while that is going on um i can build maybe two more houses here then I'm leaving. Uh, I'm putting off uh, building more houses because once the market is built and once the town center is tier two, we will unlock better housing. So this will be this will probably the last ones that I will build for now, or in, the, in this ep in this episode. So that in the next episode we'll start um, we'll start building the temporary shelters. Okay, so I will put this on priority. So that we can end the episode right here so we could leave this episode in a good place we have nine months worth of food we have three months worth uh, oh, that could spoil but that is still good we have enough firewood we have 200 firewood here so that's enough for to last for maybe a year or two so that's good sign that's a good sign we have logs and we're slowly building our wood planks here so that is also great we will need those planks and maybe some clay in the future for the things that we unlock once we reach tier 2 we have a clay, clay pit here that we will definitely take advantage of in the future okay so we are slowly getting there just need more planks so the thing is uh, we need to start producing more planks so the saw pit is the one i believe this is the one producing planks so we can put more people there for now temporarily um we have four builders and we have 13 laborers so i think we are good at putting i mean putting pe more people to plank production is good since we have excess people here okay so the houses are now built if you take a look at it we have enough room for 48 people so we have room for 18 more which is good since we have having uh, extra capacity is very nice if especially if we encounter more people who want to join our um settlement All right so there's still five more deer here um for our foraging i can put you down here temporarily since i believe most of the things are fully gathered there okay just eight more planks we have six so this will definitely be finished in a little bit um for our firewood we can i'm thinking of just putting one person there since we have enough we have a lot actually so i think that should be good as you can see here on our farm the first rotation is done we are now planting cabbages and hopefully we'll get a lot of food from that our food is slowly going down just because we have a lot of people now so we can maybe uh, before we also end this episode i'm thinking of building another farm on this area since this is very fertile land Right, so this is 77 fertility, which is still nice. This is a 6x5 six farm. I'm thinking of going 6x6. Six six. Now, this farm will be another source of food for us in the future. Um, at least we will end the episode that the construction of this farm is already started. And our market is finished. So, that means that we can now upgrade oh we need more planks to upgrade so let's let's just wait for that um as i've mentioned let's just put more people on that one and then let's speed things up let's time lapse this one until we can uh until we can we have until we have enough wood planks for the city center upgrade or the town center upgrade so i'm seeing here that our planks are getting used so i'm not sure where the planks are are getting delivered 
Uh, is there any way where I can see the planks? For now, let's turn them away since we don't have that much wood. So let's turn them away for now. Um, but I'm really looking at that planks since we need the plank to upgrade this. So I'm get I'm. I'm not sure where the planks are getting sent to. So, uh, oh, so here? Oh, no, no, no. Those are not planks. This is just firewood. So, at least they, it's slowly going up. So, I'm guessing it's still... Uh, our production is still higher than the consumption. So, that's good. Loot acquired. So, your people explored a salvage site. So, we had... Ooh, that's a lot of ingots. So, that's good. Arrows, firewood, bows, and shoes. That's great. That's great information. Um, we also have another one here that we can explore in the future. Uh, we can maybe sal start salvaging that. Well, we are at 40. So maybe we can slowly increase that. So our crops are getting eaten by animals. I'm not sure what we can do. To stop this, maybe we can build. I'm not sure if we can build fences here. So, okay. So I think that's that's the case. Um, we'll build that here. Then another one there, and then another one here. Okay. I don't know if that's enough since this is still open in the front. Uh, hopefully that's enough. See, just to avoid animals eating that away. Um, we only have we only have six months of food here so before we end the episode I will start putting more foragers um, so maybe another foragers shack down here is good um, this will ensure that we can gather the stuff that is down here since there are a lot um, so maybe we can do this and then we'll prioritize this building again um, we have projects that we will that we have begun doing at the start of uh, at the end of this episode so we have a forager shack here we have a farm that we are starting to build there so that's good enough. Um, we are losing crops here and there. So due to animals eating them and uh, just losing it maybe through um, what do you call this? Losing it through the um, weather and stuff like that. So we will definitely take a look at that in the future. But for now, we will end here. Um, so this is a very humble start. Very standard start for me. And based on the things that I saw in the in YouTube, so um, yeah, I guess we're ending this video for now. Um, if you enjoyed uh, the farthest frontier, or if you enjoyed this video generally, please do consider liking the video, commenting down below if you have any suggestions, and if you had fun building with me. Hopefully, you can also subscribe to the channel to see more. We do City Skylines and RimWorld at the moment. And then this one, you can hopefully turn into a series. And I guess that's it. Um, I'll see you guys on the next one. Uh, thank you very much and peace.